why we are rushing for the fluids we are rushing for the fluids in order to maintain the blood pressure do you know more the blood pressure more will be the volume loss so if a patient is sick if the patient is sick if the patient is having uh, hypothermia or if the patient is having acidosis or imagine a patient brought to the trauma bay who is in shock the resuscitation is totally different from what we do in the routine practice and this concept is the concept of dcr so in this chapter only let us quickly continue the concept of dcr what do you mean by dcr by talking about dcr we say it's a it's defined as damage controlled resuscitation damage control resuscitation now this is, there are some principles of damage control resuscitation what is this these patients are already in grade 3 grade 4 might be hypovolemic shock so the first and the most important point is limited use of crystalloids limited use of crystalloids limited use of crystalloids the logic says the logic says initial bolus and then maximum volume is also commented so initially you can give the fluid in bolus initial bolus of 500 ml to 1 liter of initial bolus of 500 ml to 1 liter yes and cumulative cumulative you should not give you should not give more than what 2 liters so if you think you require blood more than this if you think you require to support volume more than this use instead of this use blood so second is yes use of blood and blood products so use blood and blood products so try to rely more on blood products blood products next is why we are rushing for the fluids we are rushing for the fluids in order to maintain the blood pressure do you know more the blood pressure more will be the volume loss so it has been seen that you if you allow the blood pressure to fall to a permissible extent yes you can further minimize the ongoing blood loss and hence don't rush behind blood pressure maintain a minimum threshold that's more than enough and this is what is known as permissive hypotension why this is known as permissive hypotension because you are allowing this hypotension permissive hypotension when we talk about permissive hypotension what is the target map the target mean arterial pressure is roughly around 65 to 70 mm hg 70 mm hg a very important thing is rather than using 6 liters of normal saline use a 3 normal that means hypertonic saline so always go for a trial of hypertonic saline so you go for a trial of hypertonic saline this is very very important trial of hypertonic saline this point is again very important and do you know some patient develop ongoing what coagulopathy so use cryo precipitates so use cryo precipitates apart from this so this is the concept of what damage control resuscitation subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from preplada